Hello everyone, my name is Feng Tsai Wen and I am a PhD candidate from Software Institute at Universidad del Ciudad Italiana. Today I'm going to talk about our research work on building a recommender system that can suggest the next method to be implemented. Compared to other software engineering tools, recommender systems usually provide information items that can help developers in a specific software engineering task. There are many different types of information items that can be recommended, but we are more interested in the code-related recommender systems. For example, the code completion techniques, the API usage example recommenders, also the code retrieval techniques. In our study, we target to explore another possibility of recommender system that may help developers speed up their coding task. Let me show you a concrete example of our motivation. Here is an online tutorial shows how to find and display the location details of an Android device in the Android app. First, the tutorial shows that a sequence of methods need to be implemented to check and request the location permission. After handling the location permission, developers should implement another group of method to display the map information on the Android device. From this example, we can consider the sequence of method implemented for a specific task as a code implementation pattern. If we can identify and collect those implementation patterns that are commonly used by most of the developers, then we may be able to predict the next method in a given context. In our study, we specifically focus on learning those implementation patterns from Android application written in Java. For the data collection part, we look up for candidate Android apps from GitHub and we select 21,000 repositories that satisfy our criteria. And then we collected all the commits from the complete history of each repository and we divided the dataset into three sections, namely the chaining, uh, validation, and test set. The chaining set is where we are going to learn those implementation patterns. But how can we do that? The idea is simple. First, we analyze the edit and modify Java files from each commit in the chaining set, and use Java Parser to extract it, the newly added method in this commit. Then we repeat this step for each commit in the training set. Now we have collected different groups of um, method, and each group may represent an individual implementation pattern. Let's check an example how these patterns look like. In one commit from a project, the developer implemented two methods for checking the permission to the external storage. In one commit from another project, a similar implementation task has been performed by another developer. By comparing the detail of these two implementation patterns, we can see that the M6 is actually identical to M4. And although M7 is not exactly the same as M5, but pretty much does the same job. So we need to define an approach that able to recognize those similar patterns from our dataset. The first step of the approach is to cluster similar methods. We created a graph containing all the added methods in the training set. Each method is represented as a node in the graph. Then we connect all the nodes with weighted edges, which represent the text similarity between those methods in the Android context. Then we remove all the edges below a certain threshold, and we end up with a large number of connected subgraphs. We define those subgraphs as clusters of methods, and the methods belong to the same cluster are performing pretty much the same functionality. Then we go back to the implementation patterns we collected before, and we replace the unique method ID with the clustered ID for all the analyzed commits. After this replacement, we now have the list of implementation patterns performed by each commit, and each pattern may contain some common items with other patterns. 
Now we can apply the association rule mining algorithm to answer our initial question of our study. If a developer implements one method for a specific task, what might be the other method he is going to implement as well? The sample result shows that, in multiple instances from our dataset, when a method belonging to the class 2 has been implemented, a method belongs to the class 3 would be added together as well. Also, we have generated different sets of association rules based on different configurations. And each set of association rules can be considered as a potential knowledge base of our recommender system. After the training phase is finished, we can move on to the next step to evaluate the preliminary results. For each commit in the validation set, we also extracted all the added methods and trying to match those added methods to the existing clusters we have built in the training phase. After matching this method, now we can check whether the association rules can make correct recommendations on the validation set. For example, in the first case, we suggest the developer to implement the C2 method based on the C1 method. But the developer did not agree with the recommendation, so this would be counted as an instance of incorrect recommendation. And we will also have some instance of correct recommendations. In addition, there are many cases we cannot generate any recommendations. Then we can calculate the precision and record by counting the number of different instances. The precision value would be the number of correct recommendations divided by the number of generated um, recommendations. And the record value would be the number of correct recommendations divided by the number of all instances. Then we can apply the same validation process on all sets of association rules. Then we pick the best one and re-evaluate on the test set in order to get the final performance. The precision value here shows that when a recommendation has been generated by our system, it's very likely to be applied by the developer. And the record value may look low, but considering the test set includes around 70,000 commits, which means we can still make good recommendations for over 3,000 commits. For the last part of the presentation, I would like to briefly introduce you the Android Studio plugin we have implemented, which is called Fierce. The plugin is connected to the Fierce web service. When the developer implements a new method in the IDE, the method will be sent to the web service to check if it can be matched to an existing cluster in our database. If the answer is no, then no recommendation would be generated. If yes, then we check if there is any association rules have this method as the left-hand side. If no, again, nothing to recommend. If yes, the plugin will show a recommended method from the right-hand side of the matching rules. And the developer may reuse the code if he's happy with the recommendations. Now we can take a look how the plugin actually looks like. The developer can press the button to start monitoring the code changes from the IDE. After a new method is implemented by the developer, the plugin interface will display all the possible recommendations. And the developer can copy the code snippet from the plugin. To conclude our research work, we defined a new approach to learn implementation patterns from open source repository, and we leverage those patterns to build a recommender system with encouraging preliminary results. In addition, a plugin tool has been implemented to demonstrate the recommender system, and we are looking forward to getting some feedback in order to improve the system. Please check the button link to download the plugin if you are, you are interested in. And thank you for watching my presentation. Okay. 
All right. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, this is the Q&A for the paper, Siri, write the next method. And Feng Chai Wen is here to answer your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to put them on the chat. OK. Uh, I think we have yeah. the um. first question which is from Tian Gaian. How much effort does a user have to do in correcting your incorrect suggested code in the next method? OK, uh, we, uh, we, as I explained in the presentation, we, we haven't evaluated our tool in the real usage scenario. So, but for the validation set and test set, uh, where we perform our evaluation, we uh, we define a matrix which is called the distance uh, token, which means uh, how many distance, uh, how many tokens the, the developer need to modify in order to uh, correcting our recommendation, and the uh, the mid the median value of this uh, distance token is uh, one, and the average value is two, which means uh, when, we, uh, when we are able to recommend something, uh, the, the developer usually only need to uh, modify maybe one to two tokens to get the, the perfect answer. All right, thank you. The next question comes from uh, Wally Tawesi, Wally Tawesi, thank you for the talk. Considering the low recall, I wonder how would how would be the baseline like random guessing would perform? Have you compared your approach to any baseline techniques? Um, thank you for the question. A, a very good question. And so far, uh, we haven't find any a very similar research like. I really trying to recommend the whole method by given a, a, a one method implemented by the developer. So uh, for the first question, I think uh, a random guessing for sure, um, I don't know, would achieve very high recall. But I mean, every time you can randomly generate something to recommend, but I don't, I don't think the precision and the result would be useful for the developer. So we are considering the low recall. I think at the moment we have uh, um, to future work to maybe try to increase the recall. The first thing is we want to continuously uh, integrate. Uh, so we will continue mining uh, data from the new repository also for the new commits uh, performed by the developers. So we will have larger and larger data set. Hopefully we can generate uh, more and more association rules. And the other um, limitation for the low recall is when we try to cluster the similar method, um, we actually, we want to make sure this the same cluster to uh, to contain the method up represent exactly the same uh, functionality, so we use a very high similarity threshold. So I think that's another reason. Maybe lower the recall. We 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 will try to investigate a, a better mechanism of the method clustering. I think that answers your questions. Thank you. The next question is from Aurora Ramirez. Very interesting, a couple of questions. How do you measure code similarity independent of language style variable names? And how do you recommend, I guess, or provide the recommendation if two rules match the antecedent best support confidence uh, if they're contradictory? Okay, um, thank you for the question. So, I will try to answer the first one. So the code similarity, we we use the same uh, methodology uh, uh, defined by uh, my colleague uh, Emma Ahayani at all. 
So basically, we, we were tracking uh, the text similarity uh, between the method in the Android uh, context, which means we both tracking all the uh, all, all the tokens from the method. Also, we also check the keywords like represent the Android API, the Android related uh, component. So we combine those two um, two measurement together. So um, to uh, compute the co similarity and this similarity uh, measurement is actually uh, performed in in the android context so the second question if i don't is I, don't... I think how to handle recommendations if the matching of two rules in terms of uh, antecedents is contradictory uh contradictory means they they in they are in the wrong opposite I'm gonna, order I'm gonna assume that yeah. that means that they're in conflict yes so one is you know a okay. plus something and the yeah. other one is not so a. that's that's a very good question we do considering when we do the evaluate uh this uh case when we when when we do the evaluation so basically uh we have a lot of um uh, uh, rules can match for uh, a single commit in the validation set. The first thing uh, before we counting the, the the correct recommendation and the incorrect recommendation, the first thing we do is we remove the the rules are actually uh, contradictory with each other. For example, if there's a rule like the method one, uh, uh, the cluster one recommend class two, and then there's another rule like the class two recommend class one. And we will remove one of them with like a uh, smaller uh, confidence, smaller support. So at the end, all the rules remaining on evaluating on this commit will have no contradictionary. So yeah that's what I we think did. There is, sorry, yeah. I think there is a clarification on the yes. chat yes uh, so I mean two rules can have the same antecedent so which consequent would you recommend okay. is it the, the, the bottom question on the chat um if the two rules can have so if same. a then b and the other one is if a then c and perhaps both of the rules have the same confidence yes then it's clear we keep if the same right hand side we will keep both rules because they don't have conflicts we can have a, a commit containing the a b c so a recommend to b and a recommend to c can both apply to these commits so in this case yes I th we believe there is no conflict okay i think that this conversation can proceed after uh, the Q&A ends, but let's take a, a couple more questions. So yes. not, uh, this one is from Araz um, Iqbali. Nice talk. Do you have a measure of how long you can continue generating methods until the relevance decreases significantly? Um, I think, uh, so at the moment, we can only gen uh, recommend the next method, which means the next one. And then if you apply this recommendation, it might be a new one pop up. So, but uh, for our, in our data set, the, the longest uh, association route we can learn from the data sets, I think the average number is from maybe three to four, which means we, we might be only to um, maximum uh, recommend of the four or five next method. Otherwise, I think if the sequence are uh, getting too wrong, it doesn't actually make too much sense because usually you don't need to implement like more than 10 method together to, in, uh, to repl repl represent a single feature like, yes. All right, thank you. We have about 13 seconds before we're being put into the next talk. So those people who would like to discuss, maybe specifically Aurora, can stay for the discussion. Um, and let's thank the speaker and go to the next one.